Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to talk about Redux reducers. First of all what are reducers, what is their role, what they can do, why they are called as a pure function and what is their role in the whole architecture of Redux. So reducers are nothing but a state machine, a state function which takes current state and action and based on that they will return the new state. And the state in Redux we already know that is a read only. So we will not modify the existing state based on the action. We will return the new state object. So state is something look like this. So this is our reducer function. It can be anything. It should be a simple vanilla JavaScript function like counter. Here we are taking state and action. If state is initially undefined, you can initialize the state okay and now based on the type either you are getting increment decrement you will return the state or if nothing is matching you can return the existing state so if you have a lot of conditions then you can write a switch case all these things here you can also initialize the current state so outside the state i can say const state equal to something like this okay uh, you can say list I have array so I will just initialize my state with the state I mean you can have a put initial state here this is your initial state okay now based on the action consider that I don't have undefined state I already initialized it like action dot type equal to add element add element simple uh, simple let's say add okay so what we are doing is in this case we will actually create a copy of the initial state we will add a new element in the list and we will return it so what code we, wrote, we should write here so we should always write immutable way of code here like we can use array dot map okay we can use array dot filter because they are not going to update the existing state or we can use object dot assign or if we we can also use immutable js it actually takes care of immutability of a javascript objects array list map li anything okay so currently what do we have is we have a object so we will actually create a list new list and what new list will contain a simple javascript object so here I can say list. I mean there are different ways of getting the immutable behavior. What I'm doing is I will actually this is an array so I will just spread it and I can say state dot list. So I got the new list. Now I will say new list dot push some element which I'm getting in the action dot payload. Okay and I will return the new list. Right, this is how I am returning my new state based on the type add. Okay, if type is add delete, then I can just splice one element from this particular array. Like you can also use splice actually to remove the element and it will actually, it will not modify the current array or you create a new copy of this. Safe side, you always create a copy of the state like this here I can also use uh, array dot map and something else something other methods but I created a new new copy now you play around with this copy you insert update delete and just return that right so this is how we are actually writing our reducers reducers are nothing but a pure JavaScript functions doing nothing based on switch case or if else condition we are just returning the state here it, if we have multiple actions like add, update, delete, increment, decrement then you can write a switch case and based on type you will be just keep returning the new state object. So this is your reducer and once you have written reducers you have to combine all these reducers because some reducers are talking about profile, account, settings. 
and they always deal with their own state object so this is pointing to this state object but finally what we want is a big json tree object where we can actually say okay my one is a list reducer list object is my one state and the state initialized with this list initially empty array right there can be another reducer which is settings okay settings can be my another object which is taking care of the settings uh, of my object of my pro state right da, 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 something like this because i'm writing this text in the javascript code okay so now i have to combine all the reducers it can be a list reducers it can be my settings reducers and then i will be passing this whole one single state to a create store method to build a store store is nothing but a combination of all these reducers together each reducers will take care of their own state object okay and finally we'll combine that so redux first principle redux redux is nothing but a store of a single state tree it is this single state tree is nothing but a single source of truth right why because we have multiple reducers we are combining all of them and we are passing that to create a store so store is nothing but a combination of all the reducers together representing a single state tree single json object tree which is having every time the latest state available okay thanks everyone